What up, Iron Man fans? This is Sean Long of Long Shot Dreams, and I'm bringing you another Iron Man 2 movie toy review, this time of the Iron Man 2 Marvel Select War Machine. Now, this figure and the Mark IV Iron Man, which I'll review later, um, are my first Marvel Select figures. Now, Marvel Select is like the DC Direct equ equivalent for Marvel. Um, I never got a Marvel Select figure because I'm more I'm a Marvel Legends fan, but I had to get these because of the detail and big Iron Man fan and especially War Machine um, but one thing I want to say on the packaging the packaging is huge I mean it's redonkulous <laughs> it's just like way too big this figure is only a little bit bigger than this it's like a seven inch uh, figure and they put it like in it's like freaking it's like a Voyager Transformer size box I mean wow I mean it's cool you get the Marvel Select War Machine Iron Man 2 Super Collector action figure but really do they need this much space I mean they could have made I mean this box could have been easily like cut off at least like that much of the box I mean there's no reason to have it this huge I mean even with the base of the display it's just wow I mean okay enough but it just, it's just too big I do like this really awesome war machine picture on the side here that's really cool and on the back we get a picture of the Marvel Select war machine and the Boris exclusive Mark IV which I got and the Mark VI Marvel Select and the little thing about James Rhodes reverse engineer Tony Stark's Iron Man to make his own with bigger weapons yada 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 okay, it's time to open up this massive box because I need more room in my room this is taking up too much space so let's take out war Machine. Now out of the packaging, the figure is very cool, but I do have quite a few problems with it. Now the sculpt itself is pretty nice. Uh, however, the paint um, compared to the Hasbro 6 inch one, the paint is nice and glossy, but especially the silver, it really uh, seems like that the paint will come off easily. If you're a type of person that actually plays with his or her toys like I do, um, I can see this uh, wearing out. Now that would give it a cool battle damage look, but uh, I don't know. It it just doesn't seem like the pain in here is that top notch. It's missing quite a bit of details. Like the 6 inch one has all these nice details like all the numbers and lettering. It even has all the yellow there on the side. No lettering or no details on the gauntlets or at all. It's, it's actually quite disappointing. Probably the biggest problem I have is the head. Now I'll show the feature in a moment here but you can see if you want to display this uh, as the closed helmet war machine, uh, there's quite a bit of gap in there that you can see in there. It doesn't quite fully close up as much as I would like it to. And even the head sculpt, as much as it looks cool, is kind of a little off-putting. And I'm, I'm a little... Uh, disappointed in that. I would just hope for like a $20 figure that I would expect just a little more in paint and uh, detail but the sculpt is is pretty good. What's up mini machine? Don't call me mini machine or I will- You're what? I'm way bigger than you. Well it's true for one thing. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And at least I got the movie accurate missile launcher bub. Oh wait, wrong line. For articulation, it's pretty good articulation. I like that the head is nicely on a ball joint. You can go fully up and down. You can rotate all the way around, but with his chain gun, it, it, it's unfortunately you can't really move it unless you move it up, out of the way. He does have articulation in the chain gun, which unfortunately this chain gun, it's all, unlike the six inch one, you can only place it on the right shoulder. So it can go back and forth at, at two joints right here and it can fully rotate uh, up, up at this joint right here, but you can't move it uh, back and forth like the six inch one, which it's a little um, sad, but you know, not that much. Um, since the shoulder pads aren't connected to the body like the six inch one, you don't have to move them up to fully rotate them. They can go in and out a little bit, but not that much. They do rotate at the upper part of the arm, but it's it's kind of like really tight joints. He does spin at one point at the elbow, and his wrist kind of can rotate, but they're really hard to do, but they can kind of move. He's supposed to have waist articulation, but it's really tight, and I it can move it more up and down than and rotate it. His legs have that Hasbro joint, and it's funny because this is not a Hasbro figure, but uh, you can uh, rotate it so you can move it uh, forward and back or left and right and rotate out the other part of the leg. He still does have kind of like two points of the knee articulation, and his feet can pivot 
I think forward and back and rotate but it's really stiff so yeah the articulation is okay. Big thing that sets apart this figure uh, from the other War Machine figures up until the Hot Toys one comes out is that you can actually remove his faceplate. And it does have a really nice likeness to Don Cheadle. I think until the Hot Toys one uh, comes out, this is probably the best Don Cheadle head sculpt we'll get. And you want the mask on, he has two little holes on both sides of the head. And then he has two holes on the top of the head, which you can actually use the tabs in here to keep his face mask on like he lifted it up. And, then, and it, actually looks, it actually looks pretty cool and actually looks better displaying him in this way. Ah, oh, man, I can finally breathe out of this thing. Wait a second, you're not Terrence Howard. You're a phony, a great big phony. Hey, man, shut up or else I'll get George Clooney on your ass. Now, the thing that's probably going to make this figure worth the $20 price tag, besides the actual figure itself, is this nice... Uh, a base like little display stand you can see here it says hammer uh, advanced weapon systems you know from justin the hammer who's one of the main villains in iron man 2 it has like an, a nice little tab right there to first foot and it, it's made in um uh, two different pieces so you have to be really careful though when you're putting them together because it could it could definitely see this breaking it's not the most sturdiest thing but it, it, it does the job pretty good it even has nice detail on the back so the, the display stand is probably the best thing that you get from this $20 price tag. Hey stop! Hammer time! Hammer time? Really Rody? Aren't I the one that made the suit for you man? How appreciative are you man? Shouldn't you be saying it's time to get Stark? Craving mad. Okay, Tony, how about this? It's time for the mean machine. <laughs> Size comparison time. So here you can see the, the Marvel Select War Machine. Of course, in great scale with the other Marvel Select uh, Mark IV Iron Man. Uh, it's it's a couple inches bigger than a six inch figure like the six inch Walmart exclusive war machine. And you can see how much it's like double the size of the three three four inch war machine. Normally I've been very impressed with everything that's come out of the Iron Man 2 line, at least from Hasbro. But Marvel Select, since this and the Mark IV Iron Man are my really first Marvel Select figures, I was kind of expecting a little more. I mean, the sculpts are pretty good, and I like the display stands, but for 20 bucks, I don't know. I mean, the articulation isn't as good as the 6-inch the ones. I mean, yeah, you get to have the Don Cheadle or um, Tony Stark one, but... I don't know, it's just, at least with a 6 inch one, you get extra hands, you get the missile pod, you get more detail, more articulation, so I don't know. I, sad to say, I can't really recommend this figure unless you really want everything that has to do with War Machine, or you're a big fan of the Marvel Select figures. But really, I would just say get the Walmart exclusive uh, 6 inch one, or if you can wait and you don't want to spend the money on it, which I'm really excited for, get the, the the 12 inch uh, Hot Toys one because that's going to be the best War Machine figure out there at least from the movie one and yeah I mean this one I had a lot of high hopes for and it just didn't deliver on a lot of things and the only way that this really stands is with the display stand it, all, it always falls over and I don't know usually I really praise a lot of my toys and I usually get toys I know I love but this one and the Iron Man pretty much disappointed me so I don't know Hope you guys enjoyed my reviews. Stay tuned for more Iron Man reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long saying until next time. Uh, Tony, help me up all and I can't get up. Sorry, Rudy, but you're on your own. Why don't you ask George Clean to help you out? It's going to take Ocean's 11 people to help us out in this one.